Hello from Seoul! You want to impress your family or friends with a beautiful dish? But you don't want to put too much effort into it? Then you are in the right place at the right time. With this beautiful hot pot, people will think you are a master chef or something. Alright, let's get started. When it gets cold, what food comes to your mind first? For me, it's always a hot pot. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a Japanese hot pot, mufiyu nabe. Since it looks quite fancy, you may think it's hard to make it, but it's super simple. First of all, let's start with the stock. Since I'm making a Japanese hot pot, I'm gonna make Japanese style soup stock. So you will be needed dried bonito flakes and dried kelp. You may have seen people use dried anchovies or various kinds of seafood for their stock, but I'm not gonna use it. So if you didn't try it because of its fishy taste or aroma, I'm sure you're gonna love this. Some of you might wanna ask, Aaron, what if I don't have bonito flakes? Then I recommend just getting some dried kelp at least. Kelp has a high concentration of glutamic acid, which means it is a kind of natural form of MSG. So the stock made of kelp cannot be not delicious. Prepare 2 liters of water and put 20 grams of dried the kelp into it. Make sure to put them in cold water, not boiling water. It's because I want all the good flavors to come out very slowly. Now turn on the heat to low heat. Of course you can turn on the heat to high heat and once it starts boil, you can reduce it down but what if you get a cold brown so you have to go to the bathroom. Then I have to say you ruined it. I'm kidding. You can still use it but sadly it's not 100% what we're looking for so I hope no one gets troubled. By the time they get soft and easily turn off by hands, take them out and put 30 grams of dried bonito flakes into a strainer bag and cook it for another 5 minutes. If you don't use a strainer bag, you will get stressed out to take out all the pieces one by one. Or you have to use a mesh strainer at the end, which means you get 2 extra dishes to wash. So I recommend using this kind of bag or cheesecloth. Now take out the bags and finish it up with a half teaspoon of salt. That's it! Finally, you get the ultimate Japanese stock that you can use for various recipes. Especially it can be a good base for any type of Japanese soup such as udon or sukiyaki. Don't thank me, you're welcome. Let's move on to the main ingredients. You will be needed beef, napa cabbage, perilla leaf, and some mushrooms. If it's difficult to get this perilla leaf, then you can use bok choy or kale as a substitute. Or you can use any kind of green vegetables you like. First, let's prep some beef. You'll be the best if you can get this kind of thinly sliced beef because it's not that easy to slice it into thin strips. But if you have to, I suggest putting the meat into the freezer for about an hour and slice it when it's firm. And you can use any cuts but it's better to use some cuts with less fat because that way you can keep your broth neat and clean. For information, I'm using beef but you can also use lamb, pork, chicken or anything you like. Head dry the beef with paper towels. It's totally fine if you skip this step because there's no difference in taste. But again, it will make your soup neat and clean. Also, if you did this, people will think you're a professional chef or something. I don't know why, but it totally works. So if you have friends over for dinner, why don't you give it a try with a professional look? For this recipe, it's better to pick a small size yellow napa cabbage. If you get a really big one that we normally use for kimchi, the presentation and the color will not be that pretty. And you might have to eat this hot pot for 7 days in a row. I said it, so don't ask me like Aaron, please make 6 ways to enjoy Napa cabbage in the comment section. I'm not gonna give you a heart, really. I'm serious. Now, let's start putting this together. Put Napa cabbage, perilla leaf, and slice the beef one by one. And build another layer of Napa cabbage, perilla leaf, and slice the beef. Lastly, cover it with Napa cabbage. You can repeat the process twice just like me, or you can build up a little bit higher as long as you can handle it. Just remember this order. Cabbage, perilla leaf, and beef. That's it. Next, let's prep some mushrooms. Although it doesn't affect the taste at all, if you carve the mushroom head surface like this, this will make your food look so fancy. So you feel like having a meal at a nice restaurant. Since you're not familiar with this, it can take some time. But please give it a try. Trust me, it's not as hard as it looks. Now bring one of your pots. For information, it's better to choose a pot that is wide and a little shallow because that way, you can make a beautiful presentation. Even if you use a gorgeous expensive pot, if it's deep and narrow, your hot pot will never look pretty.
pretty. It doesn't matter if it's the one from a dollar shop. As long as it's wide and shallow, it will work perfectly. I'm serious. Place all the leftover veggies on the bottom. For information, if you add a lot of shiitake mushrooms, they will make your broth much deeper. And if you want to add a crunch texture, you can also put some mung bean sprouts. And in my experience, if you don't use all the leftovers right now, they are likely to be thrown away. So this is the last chance. Put them all and make your family or friends consume all the stuff. They will never know it was your strategy, but they will think you are a generous person. Let's cut this into large chunks. Be sure to roughly measure the depths of your pot because if they are too high or too low, it won't be pretty. Remember, this is the key to make your hot pot look pretty. Now put them in the pot from the edge and make sure to leave some space in the middle so that the mushrooms can get in. Imagining you are arranging some flowers in a vase would be helpful. Lastly, finish it off with the gorgeous shiitake mushrooms. You might want to ask Aaron, are we done? Can we pull the stock now? Absolutely not. If you add it now, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. So quickly grab your phone and take some pictures for your Instagram. Once it starts to boil, it will quickly become not pretty. Compared to other hot pots, this is not a very salty or spicy type of hot pot. So depending on your taste, you can add some salt or soy sauce. But don't worry about it. With this dipping sauce, there will be no problem at all. Put 1 tablespoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, a half tablespoon of vinegar, a half tablespoon of lemon juice, 1 tablespoon of of mirin, 1 teaspoon of karashi, Japanese mustard, and mix it. If you can't get this, you can use wasabi instead. And if you are a big fan of spicy food, add some chopped onions and chili peppers. They're so good together, so I don't want to say they are optional. Everything is all set. Pour some stock into the pot and boil it. You don't have to fill up the pot because a lot of juice will eventually come out from the veggies. It's heartbreaking to see it gets less pretty. So when they are pretty, make sure to shove as much as you want. If you don't have any Anybody to show off to? Then tag us on Instagram. I'll be jealous of your beautiful presentation. Now it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire. When Aaron says he's gonna make hot pot this week, I was like, yes, because it's getting cold here. I've been craving for this kind of food so much. Mm, love it. Let me try the broth first. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 너무 진하지도 않으면서 은근히 야채에서 나온 그 육수가 느껴지네. Thank you. 이런 걸 소스 맛으로 먹는 거지. 이게 너무 큰가? 다들 내큰 입에 놀라던데. Don't be surprised, okay? 음, 음, 음. 이 조합이 엄청 좋다. 약간 재료들의 간이 심심하게 되어 있잖아. 그래서 정말 이 소스가 무조건 필수고. 약간 새콤달콤 해가지고 입맛을 딱 돋구는데 제격이다. 그리고 my love stuck in mushroom. 와, 와, 즙이 한 가득이다. 너무 좋아. 오늘 메뉴 선정 최고. 너무 맛있어. 자기 빨리 먹어봐. Do you think we're done? Absolutely not. We definitely need some carbs. Here we have two options. The first one is rice and the second one is noodles. If you add some rice, we can make some porridge, but it takes longer to prep. Hungry Claire is waiting for me like a baby bird in the nest. So let's go for noodles today. Add some more stock into your remaining soup and boil it. And you will be needed mirin and soy sauce. Since I don't know how much soup you left, I can't give you the exact amount. But just remember one to three ratio. Not one to three. One to three. One to three. What the for information, I put 1 3rd tablespoon of mirin and 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. Before you put some ingredients, please check if it's okay for you. And if it's not, add some salt, depending on your taste. Now put some leftover veggies, beef, and udon noodles. When the noodles are fully cooked, put them in a serving bowl and sprinkle our love green onions. It's done. Claire. Wow, it's round two. I feel like I'm having a party or something. <laughs> Yo, I didn't expect this much with the leftovers. 항상 국물 먼저. 음, 아까 썼던 육수에다가 추가로 한 거잖아. 역시 약간 육수에서 훨씬 깊은 이런 향들이 느껴져. 오, 이거 무슨 갈비탕 먹는 느낌이야. 맛있어. 
이건 단품으로 팔아도 사 먹을 의향이 있어 너무 맛있는데? 음 뭔가 럭셔리한 느낌의 우동? 그런 느낌? 음. 친구들이랑 밖에서 이런 핫팟 같은 거 사먹고 나면은 이 야채가 많고 이래서 야채의 포만감 때문에 뭔가 진짜 배부른 느낌인데 수다 한두 시간만 떨고 나면은 소화가 싹 돼가지고 집에 오는 길이 진짜 배고프거든 Guys, no matter how full you are You should definitely finish with this kind of carbohydrate Please don't skip carbohydrate Okay? <웃음> Alright, today we made a hot pot. Considering we made the stock from scratch, it's still not that complicated, right? Who wouldn't be surprised when they're served this kind of beautiful dish? Now it's time to surprise your family or friends. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.